Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Wasserbauer. Today, you'll be hearing from our members why they think ABHRS certification is important and why you should seek Diplomate status. When patients ask me, what are my qualifications for hair restoration surgery? I proudly tell them that I am certified by the ABHRS. What that tells the patient is it gives them a level of confidence that I've had to have the experience to be able to sit the exams, as well as being able to have the knowledge to successfully pass the oral and written examination. There are many benefits of being a diplomat, one of which is access to an active WhatsApp group where you can ask advice from colleagues about difficult cases, share clinical experience, and benefit from disseminated educational content. Being a certified hair transplant surgeon is one of my greatest achievements and it is an honor to be among the most outstanding hair transplant specialists from the different parts of the world. ABHRS promotes highest quality and ethical care for patients and because of this, you have the respect and trust of your patients as well as your peer group. Over the past 20 years, the ABHRS has evolved to become a financially robust operation which has continued to raise the bar in maintaining rigorous academic and clinical standards in hair transplantation surgery practices through certification of our diplomats. As a hair restorative surgeon, I would advise all the young doctors who want to take this as a career that they must try to get this certification. It will give them the confidence and their patients a lot of satisfaction. It was a, a very good uh, opportunity to learn more because when you do hair transplant surgery, even for years, uh, it's, it doesn't mean that you know everything. And it's, there is a lot of details, a lot of uh, subtleties that are on the book <laughs> and that we don't read and we don't see. So I wanted to, to, to improve my knowledge and this is why I decided to, do, to, take the, to take the exam, the certification. Our standards have gotten tougher and tougher for these exams. What we can say without, uh, without question is that if an individual does sit for this examination and obtains diplomat status, there's no question that they're going to be able to produce quality work.